uh, and all of those, uh, all of those decisions within our budget, both the fiscal responsibility, uh, AAA bond rating, but also the investments, go to improving the conditions that allow you to create jobs in our state, and also empower businesses to grow and prosper. Uh, so, uh, and all of that goes to say that we're going to continue to use a balanced approach of, yes, spending cuts, yes, efficiencies, yes, improving the effectiveness of how we do what we do, yes, measuring performance, yes, pursuing goals, um, and, but also making strategic investments. We cannot cut our way to prosperity. You have to be willing to make the strategic investments necessary in the skills of our people, Brett. That is to say the talent and the health of our workforce and also uh, improving our competitive advantages in those areas where Maryland really excels. So this legislative session, our focus, notwithstanding the controversial issues, which will no doubt grab headlines, as they do every legislative session, but really the meat and potatoes, uh, the core of this legislation, of uh, this legislative session, will be about jobs and the choices we make that uh, allow us to accelerate job creation and expand opportunity. Uh, we will be fiscally responsible. We will be submitting a budget that once again is within the spending affordability guidelines as it has been every single year of the O'Malley-Brown administration. Um, but uh, we'll also be making some further cuts. Uh, we'll be uh, advancing regulatory reform and, um, and also making some modern investments. Uh, number two, you know, it is said in business that if you don't have a competitive advantage, you shouldn't compete. Well, in Maryland, we have some great competitive advantages. We cannot take them for granted. We have to invest in accelerating them. So we will continue to move forward with regard to biotech, clean tech, green tech, information technology, uh, cybersecurity, space, aerospace, uh, global trade, and increasingly uh, sharpening, Mike Aliazzo, our, our focus on advanced manufacturing and what that means uh, in this uh, global economy where we play such a, a, a critical and central role. Number three, we'll be making investments to strengthen our workforce through skills training and education. I'm not sure if any of you saw it, perhaps if you were looking at page B2 of the Baltimore Sun or B8 of the Washington Post, but your schools were named the number one schools in America again for the fifth straight year in a row. Disappointed in the placement in the Washington Post, I have directed our state school superintendent, Lily and Lowry, to ease up a little bit, let us slip back to number two so we can make the front page again. <laughs> that was a joke, too, Tony. That was, uh, that was, that was a joke. Uh, we'll also be holding the line on, uh, on uh, college tuition. No state's done a better job, and Britt, thank you and your uh, whole system for, for the, your leadership there. Uh, we've actually uh, kept uh, college tuition increases, uh, uh, held them in check, uh, and done a better job of that than any other state in America. That's not hyperbole, that's fact. Uh, number four, we're going to continue with our drive to ease the uh, compliance burden uh, on businesses, the administrative burden to comply with uh, state regulations. So you're familiar with some of the actions we've taken uh, on that score, and we're going to be uh, talking more about them. Uh, some of the areas, uh, uh, one of them that we uh, unleashed yesterday was the Central Business Licensing Initiative, which is, uh, we've been doing a lot of work with the Department of Assessments and Taxation. Uh, launched it yesterday so that we put all of the license applications necessary for starting a business online and in a one-stop portal uh, so that uh, we can streamline that process. There were a couple of businesses at the event yesterday who got their approval not in five or ten weeks or five or ten days, but got their approval in, in five or ten minutes. Not everyone is like that, uh, but it is a, a big step forward. We're also uh, fast-tracking major development projects and cutting through what had often been uh, an approval process that was not contemporaneous. It was 
is continuous, and some would say continuous and never ending. So, so now uh, through uh, uh, the fast track system, we're streamlining the processing of permits for businesses that create large numbers of jobs, or those that uh, promote smart growth and targeted development or redevelopment areas. Uh, we are continuing to uh, cut through and eliminate pages of uh, outdated and oftentimes uh, overburdensome uh, pages of, of regulation in Comar. And we're also going to continue with a couple of things that we started in prior years. Uh, one was the uh, uh, largest infusion of venture capital into our economy through the Invest Maryland initiative. Uh, we have ranked number one in research in our state, but we're ranked 37th in commercializing that research, getting the ideas into the marketplace. And one of the shortcomings in uh, the ecosystem, if you will, that allows those things to happen was uh, the uh, relative uh, uh, paucity of, uh, of uh, available venture capital. So uh, that venture capital that we did through Invest Maryland, thank you delegates and senators and uh, President Miller and President Bush for your leadership on that, was the largest single infusion of venture capital that we had ever seen happen in our state. Uh, so that continues in a responsible and smart way. And then last year, University of Maryland, Morgan uh, State University, and and Johns Hopkins joined together to agree uh, to uh, move 40 ideas out of their labs and research institutions and into the marketplace every year. Uh, why 40? I don't know. We thought that was a measurable uh, goal, a bit of a stretch goal, but one that would allow us all to keep one another accountable and, and also push one another. There's also things that have been going on within our universities, uh, renowned and well-known for their excellence in research and teaching, not as well-known for uh, their entrepreneurial spirit. And so uh, at University of Maryland, also at Johns Hopkins and other universities, they've been changing the tenure track so that professors are rewarded uh, not merely for uh, getting published, but also uh, are now being rewarded for the work they do in commercializing their discoveries and getting them into the economy, which is really positive news and I believe will pay dividends for a long time. So, um, look, we'll be announcing more of these strategies and more of these actions. I'm a musician, so I always get mixed up on the difference between tactics and strategies. Um, but we'll be announcing uh, more of these actions, let us say, uh, to accelerate job creation, to improve the conditions for job creation in the coming weeks. Uh, we'll be revealing more details of the budget, which will support 43,000 jobs. We'll be doing more for tourism promotion, which is so important in our towns and main streets throughout our state. Uh, we'll be doing more rather than less when it comes to R&D tax credits, biotech, uh, uh, life science and those other competitive areas more rather than less in terms of ter uh, tax credits in um uh, when it comes to sustainable redevelopment and uh, in our construction area, uh, we'll be doing more rather than less when it comes to uh, building modern schools and also modern uh, water and wastewater infrastructure.